Hi, everybody. Harry Carey here. The real Harry Carey. Hey, man, this is Busted Lock Tech with your host, Gus Greenfield. Here's Gus. Hey, thanks, Harry. Uh, man, I gotta come out and say, this is like, uh, like a little close up here. Hey, a good friend of mine, subscriber and Patreon member, that sends me all kinds of money and stuff like that. But he's like a little bit naive, Derek. Um, the guy that introduces me, uh, it's like a Harry. Harry, Harry, Gary, or what? That's not the actual, the real guy that used to do the games at the uh, Chicago Cubs things and, and take me out to the ball game stuff. It's not the, it's not the real guy. It's not the actual real guy. It's just like some other dude, you know. <laughs> so, but he's, you know. Shout out to Derek, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, everybody, uh, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Let's me know that you give a damn. And then, uh, you know, whatever. I'm trying to get some more viewers here so we can get more content. And But anyway, Derek said he's like, he always thinks, I don't know if I said this before, but he's like, he said he always sees something a little bit different in the background. So it's like, I know I got like, I have to do more backgrounds, but this is the old clubhouse. We used to play cards out here and stuff. Cars! Yeah, we used to play cars, cards out here. You know, like illegal gambling and stuff, but not really illegal gambling. It was like friendly, you know. Ten of us would sit around and play Texas Hold'em or something for money. And winner takes all types of stuff. Back in the day, I got this car over here. I think I showed this in the last video. It's like the the plastic was busted off the bubble on it, but this car is. I'm fascinated with this thing. Because this is like one heavy duty car. And it has the. Uh, you know, see all that room in the back? It's like a truck car race thing going on. It's got like. The tempos are just absolutely awesome. On there. Both sides are. Oh, this one's like. This side here is like. Is that something special on there? See that little thing right there? It's like, what is that? The other side doesn't have it. This side don't have it. Somebody research it. Tell me down below. It's the Hot Wheels logo. Why does one side have it and one doesn't? Look at the top. Look at them top there. It's like sparkling. I like the diamonds. I like. I do diamonds. And then, oh yeah, here's a much. Little... Oh my. Well, it ain't no good now. No, it actually landed right in a cardboard box, so we're all right. Look at the bottom of it's just like total shiny. Motors, big motors on the side there. Fantasy cars, I don't know. I like, took a liking to this one. And I hate fantasy cars. Oh, anyway, if I find another one, you can buy it. But for, for right now, no, you cannot buy that. We're like almost four minutes into this, and I haven't. Even, I, I showed you one car that I showed you before in another video. Anyway, what are we talking about? <laughs> All right. I thought that was the fly back there, but he's got too many teeth. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a heater over here. It's like a um. Toaster maker, toaster maker, toaster master, toaster master. I think it's like from 1901, and it's like, it heats up and has a thermostat in there if you knock it over, like I just picked it up and showed it, it's like, man, that thing's actually um, super duper warm. It's like blown off some serious heat. Here you go for collectors. 1998 first edition Panos GTR1. 1998 first edition Panos GTR1. Unfortunately, no. 
you cannot buy this or have this because this is number 18 of 40 cars 18 of 40 cars first edition look, look at the tempos on it they're absolutely totally I'm going to try to get up there close so you guys can see that. Look at that. Absolutely, totally different tempos on there. See how this one on top's above the door. This one's below the door. So, see the little Hot Wheels thing on top? It's like brighter than the bottom one. Collectors, I need your help. Front and back are basically the same. Front and back. And card. There's the okay. card. But yeah, I was like, man, there's another one. I keep doing this stuff. I was like telling my good friend, uh, Doug. It's like, dude, I'm like, for next year, I'm only, the only thing I'm going to get cards I'm going to collect are like new for 2021 or or white ones, or whatever. I always come up with some kind of crazy stuff. But it's like, all right, here's two first editions, man. They're absolutely, if you look at them, completely different. Light blue behind the, the, the number. Dark blue, bigger on there. Wheels and the body and stuff are the same. It's like, got to be collector stuff, man. Collector stuff. Big time collector stuff. Let's put that over there. Put that over there, then. What do we got over here? We're like, what is this? Oh, yeah, we're waiting for that one. Man, we're like, all right, we've shown halfway through this. We showed it. All right, now, I know we've shown this one before, but I think it was a loose one that I had. And it might have been, like, in two, two uh, videos ago or whatever you want to call it. 2000 first edition Anglia panel truck. For some reason, I think I might have shown this one before, too, but it might have been a different color. I know this color and this one, I showed it just like last week or two videos ago or whatever. But it was a loose one. Here's one in the package. So, so we have loose and... Stuff. And you know what? It, it, they're toys. Take them out of the package and play with them. Play with them and check them out. Here's one I can't lay off. From the Gumball 3000. Uh, probably 2018. I love this car. The 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Everybody loves that car. Everybody loves that car. And it's like, you know. I probably have 30 or 40 of these. Because every time I see one, old pegs or at a flea market or whatever, it's like, Man, I think I got it, but I don't. And it's probably etched in my subconscious mind. Got that number three on there. You know what I mean? Everybody knows, everybody knows the number three. Okay. But you never drove a Ford Escort NASCAR, buddy. All right, check this one out. Um, Ford GT90. See, the tempos look like something from the Illuminati or the enlightened ones, the chosen, the chosen ones. Let's see, it's like hard to see on there. Get up close. Can you see that? Man, that's some weird shit on there. Look at the top. Look at the look at the window. The glass. That's all plastic glass. That's got to be like some kind of a enlightened ones, Illuminati, Masonic temple type. Here, this is like you're teaching your children weird shit. I'm just kidding, but this is weird. It's a weird looking car. Anyway, nothing against the Masonic temple. This is just a die-cast review, man. Whatever my political opinions and stuff like that. Matter not. 
Here's a plastic top, steel bottom, plastic bottom, steel top. Nice, smooth together. I have no idea what the heck this thing is, but it was a 2012 new model, which I think that counts as first edition, and it's like just the Eagle Masa, but the... Yeah, no, it's not. Doesn't look real. It's a fantasy car. It just, but the way it's like, just one one color sweeps into the other color, or one part of the car sweeps into the other car. It's like I thought that was like kind of cool. Says, so so, oh, here's something right on the back of there. It tells you all about it. And while we're doing that, shout out to uh, Race Grooves and um, Ghost Jerker. Okay, check this out. 2000 First Edition Deuce Roadster. It's not a Zamac. It just don't have any paint on there. And I keep finding these. So I know where there's like about four more of these. If you guys need one of these... Let me know. Cause uh, five bucks plus shipping, you can have one if you need one. They might be rare all over the place. This one actually has sort of like a greenish gold tint to it, but it's it's like just a steel. Unless the unless the paint faded off of it or something like that, because it does have like a greenish cast to it, gold cast, but. Looks like just like there's no paint on there. Deuce Roadster, 2000 First Edition. It don't say anything like it's some kind of a Zamac or anything. But I did where I found this. I there was there are like three or four more. So if somebody wants one of them. Five bucks plus shipping. Ten bucks plus shipping. Twenty five dollars plus shipping. Where are we at here? 12 minutes there. Here's another one of these, um, Phaeton Satan things. This is a Sega one. 2003, 2008, I don't know what it is, but it's like, keep finding these. I keep getting these things. I can't even pronounce it, but this one, I don't remember this one with the green top. So, but pretty cool, I guess. I think we might have all of these by now. It seems like they seem pretty familiar to me. They're like, look at them tempos up there. Nice. Nice. I think we got, I think we might have all of them by now. I don't know. And then here's this Cadillac. 2001 First Edition Cadillac LMP. Don't look nothing like no Cadillac that I know. And I, you know, I've been down in the hood. Many times, been seen a lot of, you know, still been uptown L.A., so like a Cadillacs. There you go. There she is. That's a real car, I guess. I've never actually honestly researched that. And I may have shown that before, but I thought it might have been loose. I don't think that I showed one in the package, so. If anybody up in Detroit... Or whatever knows that Cadillac. If it's a real car, send me a thing. Here's a weird one. The Spy Print series. And I seen some more of these today. Not this particular car. I this was like the only one that I seen. But uh, this is number two of four cars. This is called Alien. Eavesdrop on the enemy. And this is one heavy casting you guys ever seen that one before first time I ever seen it I'm like wow man look at that this is like a big ass heavy steel ass yeah, and here's the front tempos I'm talking myself here In the hood HUD! HUD! It says on there. That's a crazy car, man. Here's the bottom of it. Look at that. Still on steel. Heavy, too. Real heavy. A 
I like I so much want to take this out of the pack, but I only got one, so I can't take it out of the pack. All right, well, we're going to leave. I guess, man, we're going to shoot. I thought we could get some of these, more of these done, but I must be rambling on too much. So we're going to let this go from here, and uh, does, if that makes any sense. And, uh, you know, it's like we'll catch up with you on the next video. And I don't wear the same clothes every day all the time. I'm doing these videos. I'm doing like four or five of these videos every weekend. And I'm on vacation. So there's probably going to be about like a hundred of these coming out. I need more subscribers. So please share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And comment below so I, like if you don't like them and why you don't like them or whatever. Or if you really like them or what I should do to get more subscribers. I'm not in it for the money. I'm just in it for the... To show everybody these cars. To, you know, help the die-cast racing network world and old people that like little toy cars. All right? Holy smokes. We're in the 16 minutes. I'm Gus Greenfield, and I approve this message. Thanks for watching.